Hello and welcome back to the Colorado Color Company YouTube channel. Today we're going to go over how to prep pieces using a bench roller. The finished product will be a window drop spoon with a horn. Pro tip, always keep a striker near your bench. You can see there I was looking in my pocket for my lighter, which I didn't have. But, got a striker at all my torches, so always some way to light the torch. So here we're just going to flare some blow tubes to about the size of the tubing we're planning on attaching to. I have some tubing in the kiln for the project. I think there's two pieces of tubing and a piece of cane preheated to 1050. I'm using the Scott Griffin True Flame Working Jacks with the C3 bench roller here. Real simple process, just opening up blow tubes to the size of the tubing I'm going to be connecting to. There's a little jack stand we're in the, in the process of developing. Keeps your jacks clean, it's got a little wax under it so you can wax them up, hang them up, they stay nice and clean. There I was just cleaning off the end of some 6 mil to attach to the cane. So I have all my handles prepped. Now I'm going to begin attaching to the tubing for the project. Here we have a little chunk of timber. I'm going to grab it with the claw grabbers. Oh wait, what's that? Some kiln dust? You can dust off kiln dust with a lot of things. I've seen people use jean. That is just some old printer paper folded together and stapled up into a little broom style thing that I like to use. So now we're going to attach to this piece of timber and get it really straight with the bench roller. So once you put it on there, what you're trying to do is straighten the attachment. So where the glass is glowing, I'm trying to get that straight with the handle. And then the next move here, I'm gonna straighten the whole piece of tubing by using a little graphite up in there. Now you can see the whole piece of tubing is fairly centered to the handle. This makes for super easy stretches, and if you can keep everything on center like this, it'll make your whole project go a lot smoother. Next, I'm gonna grab a little piece of line work. This is a new pattern called Tree Frog that I'm testing. Again, grab it with the claw grabbers. Attach that second handle that I flared out to it. Again, I'm just using this bench roller to get all these pieces of tubing really nice and straight. You can see here this clear is a little wonky, but the object is to get this tubing on center. So here I am with the graphite again, and as you can see, that tubing is real nice and straight, which will in turn lead into a really nice, straight, clean, finished product. Missed some kiln dust, I'm just cleaning it off. Now I'm grabbing a piece of rainbow cane that I'm going to use for a horn. Same process, just grab it with the claw grabbers. I like the claw grabbers for these attachments. Keeps everything on center, make sure it's nice and clean. Here I'm going to add a little moil 
a moil is just a little bit of clear that's going to become waste. I think I add about a quarter inch just so that the clear is waste and I have no waste in the actual cane and the color. Take it down to the bench roller to straighten it out. Here I'm using some tungsten tweezers because I can't go up inside with the, the graphite like I had been with the tubing. But yeah, just get it real nice and straight. You can see the little bit of clear moil I built on the back there, just so I have some buffer while I'm working this cane. This roller's really great for keeping stuff on center. We don't really work off of it in the flame. It's mainly a centering tool. You can center something and take it right to the lathe if you have a lathe, or if you're only using it on the bench, it just keeps you really nice and straight. So now I'm gonna attach to the other side of this Tree Frog Classic Series tubing. I'm just gonna make sure that's straight. A little flop of the handles. The bench roller shows everything, but as far as straight goes, that's really, really good. Once you go to work that, you're gonna get a nice straight stretch, and it's gonna transfer through your whole project if you can work on center. I'm just gonna heat this guy and stretch it out for a wigwag. I'm just trying to build in as even of a heat base as I possibly can. Clicking my foot pedal off and on, adding heat to the outer edges. Once I pull it out and give it a little stretch, I can kind of see what's going on. I realize there's maybe not enough heat in the center, so just a baby little flash. And then I'm stretching it. As soon as it's stretched, I throw it on the roller, just straighten it out. You can do this by hand as well, but the bench roller is pretty fail safe and it'll keep your arms from being up in the air a lot. You know, if I were to do this by hand, I would have it up in my face, I'd be carrying a lot of weight. Here, you just slam it down on the roller, get it nice and straight, and you can see that section where I'm going to add the kicks. It's really nice and straight. So that's basically it for the prep on the roller, so check out the next video on the assembly of the pipe. Thanks for watching.